Hello, today is September 22nd, and this morning I received, uh, first I received a message from Lord Jesus, and the message said, see me, like S-E-E, and then M-E, so see me. And then, you know, I, so I waited, and I prayed a little bit, and I waited, and then I got to see the vision, and the first vision was the face of Lord Jesus in the Shroud of Turin. So hold on. So here's the Shroud, you know, as, as the normal Shroud of Turin face. But this was his actual face, you know, and it was beaten and bruised. And just like this, you know, how they said that, you know, this looks a lot like it, and it really does. But, you know, saw the eyebrows and, you know, just the bruising, or, you know, this there's a big bruise right here. And another one, and just um, you could see his eye here, and there was like a coin there, and just you know his face, you know, just like this. And I think one reason why he shows this again and again is because he's trying to tell people that yes, this really is his face on the shroud, you know, because many people are like, oh no, no, uh, the carbon dating said it was false. And it turned out that the area that was carbon dated was an area that they added material to the shroud. It was a segment that came from the Middle Ages, and they tested that section. They did not test, you know, any other sections that were better, you know, that because uh, if they tested the shroud normal, then it was it would have shown that yes, it would have been around, you know, the 33 A.D. You know, or just whenever Jesus actually died, it would have been a lot closer to the to those years. And so here, this, so he's saying, yes, this is my face. Yes, the shroud is real. Yes, I died on the cross for you. Yes, I gave up my life for you. So this was, you know, the first thing he showed. And the next thing that he showed, you know, after this vision, and then way in the back, very distant. Hold on, one, two, three. I saw a horse way in the back, so it's like tiny. So like if I zoomed up far away and it was like this tiny. And on that horse was Lord Jesus with the big knife. Big, big sword. Kind of like we, you see this one. How See how tiny the horse is? So you first see the face of Jesus, you know, on the shroud all beaten. Like, yes, I died on the cross. Yes, this is real. And and then in the back you see the horse. He's like, I am coming. I am ready to ride. That's what this vision was. He's on his way. And then after this, then I saw the horse galloping. And it was as if it was an overhead view. And you saw Jesus go by, you know, just, you know, get it up, get it up, get it up. Jesus going by and you saw, whew, whew. The sword was swinging so he's coming and he's coming with the vengeance he's coming with the wrath and then after him I saw the Holy Spirit or I saw the dove just the flapping of the wings you know coming after and it was like wow you know so he is on his way he he is on the horse and and getting ready to ride and he'll be here soon how soon I don't know but it just means to all the um, virgins out there, and I think this is Matthew, either chapter 25 or 26, but that's where it has the, the five foolish virgins and the five wise virgins. Time to be wise. Time to be ready. Our Lord is coming. You do not want to be late. Time to repent every day. Dear Lord Jesus, I repent every day, you know, just please, please take me in the rapture, dear Lord, you know, just please clean me, you know, clean my heart, fill me with the Holy Spirit, and make those requests every day, repent every night, and yes, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord, you are my God, you are my Savior, because He is coming. And your God is Jesus, and he's on his way, riding on this awesome horse, and he take, takes no prisoners. <laughs> All right.
Okay, thanks everyone and God bless.